Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you today. I'm going to be playing some regs. I don't typically play regs in my gameplays. It's usually mutt. Uh, but I know a lot of people like to play regs this year, so I want to, you know, give something for you guys as well. So expect a few regs games here and there. I'm also going to use a different playbook. I'm going to use the Tempe Buccaneers on offense. Can't switch it up for my Jets on defense, though. The Jets defense is definitely one of my favorites. This doesn't mean I'm going to switch off for the Saints. That's still one of my favorite books. Um, I'm still using, you know, the Raiders quite a bit when I run want to run the ball. So don't think that I'm out on those books. I still use them. I'm just using the Bucks today. So starting off on defense, I know it's my opponent. It's coming out in a uh, pretty heavy-looking formation. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to start off with a defense that I've been using a lot to success lately, the 4-4 split. Uh, I'm, I'm going to come out in the FS Blitz 1. Super simple setup. All I do is pinch the defensive line, spread the linebackers. Super easy setup. Totally stacks the box. On the first play, I'm expecting run, but instead he decides to pass, and I cut it off right away nope. and almost get a pick on the very first play. How did I know exactly where the ball was going to go in the very first play? Well, it's actually pretty simple. There's a couple questions you got to ask yourself before every play. Uh, number one is, where are the most receivers? There's three wide receiver possibilities on the right side, so that's where I'm going to be. Number two, where is the leverage? The leverage on this particular play, which is his tight end is outside further than my coverage linebacker, means he has leverage outside, which means he's more than likely going to throw it outside. And then last but not least, where's the user? Typically, your opponent is going to be expecting you to be in the middle of the field, and since I'm not in the middle of the field it's obvious to me that he probably made a bad read he just didn't see that i was out there nope but ultimately i guess where the play was going to go based off of those three factors on the very next play i'm pretty sure that he thinks that i'm in a man coverage once again an all-out man blitz which i am which is perfectly fine because i'm trying to set him up for a trap anyway so basically based off the formation i know it's going to be a crosser that's how people typically try to beat man coverage and it would have worked if it wasn't for the fact that lamar jackson obviously is a cheat code and he, he basically bailed him out which is fine. It's early in the game. But these are all things that you can look for in game and pretty much know exactly where the play is going to go before the play even starts. So very next play, I'm going to set one more trap for him. He's probably expecting another man blitz. Gotcha, bitch. Switch it up with a cover two, and then boom, we get an interception. That's how you set traps on defense. Three straight plays. I never played this guy before, but I'm playing him like a fiddle. On the offensive side, big gaping hole to the outside here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to streak Kelsey. Break yourself, fool! I tried to bomb it up and outrun it, but ultimately he just didn't have enough speed to beat the defender. It is what it is. It looked like he had a step there for a second, but I tried to swerve him. Didn't work out. No big deal, though. Back on the defensive side, basically a long punt. Uh, you know, first and 10. He's from his own 11-yard line. We're going to have that run defense. Like I said, try that 4-4 split out if you're not using it already. The next play, I'm pretty sure he's going to come out in something pass heavy, but I'm not going to pick until I know what his personnel is. So I have to wait. Two hours later. And then sure enough, I guess right, he comes out in a three wide receiver set. But if I guess wrong, if I would have picked this formation, he would have came out in a goal line, I probably would have ended up getting run over. Gotcha, bitch. Obviously, I guess once again correctly, mix him up with a cover two. We get another pick. We almost get a pick six. If you're gonna throw an interception or you know make a mistake like this, I mean at least throw a long interception. This guy threw me an interception right inside of the red zone. So very next play, I'm gonna try to run again. I mean, anytime you're inside the 10, running the ball is typically the best thing to do but ultimately i mean it's not working out at the moment so on third and goal uh, i mean i have to be smart to the point where i know that points are points uh, i should try to settle for a field goal if it's, if the throw is not there don't force it but sure enough i do force it yeah. because it's early i guess i was a little flustered from already throwing a pick i don't know uh, but ultimately i throw a pick I almost throw a really bad pick as you can see here he almost houses it runs right past tyree kill which is kind of ridiculous and then luckily i stop him at the 50. gotta play a little bit smarter inside the red zone on the defensive side he's figured out that cover too as you can see right there he basically just put that guy on a streak and threw right over the top of it which makes me change coverage altogether now i'm in a cover three as you can see I'm, I'm basically trying to drop as many guys back as possible we get the ball knocked out he was right where he needed to be though as you can see he threw right into the gap which typically beats cover three then the very next play I hit him with a really good blitz uh forcing a third and 32 now a cover four is usually a pretty good way to go i don't expect you to get 32 yards on a cover four uh, sure enough, he's just going to throw it up, though. He's basically going to punt it, or he's going to score a touchdown. Ah, you motherfucker. 
So a little Madden BS gets him on the board, a Hail Mary in the first quarter. I don't know if that was Madden BS or he just got lucky because he definitely didn't use her that catch. Very next play. My timing on that throw was just a little bit behind. I still think there was a window there. I just didn't get the ball off quick enough. Back on defense, the run defense is getting it done. You can tell from the formations and packages he's coming out and he wants to run the ball. It's just not happening. On the very next play, it looks like he wants to run with Lamar Jackson. That's the second thing everybody wants to do with the Ravens. And if I didn't hesitate there, I probably would have had a sack. But sure enough, I just didn't. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go after the quarterback and cover the fullback. And obviously, that's why you got a really big play out of it. But if I would have just shot him for that quarterback, I know I would have had it. So next play, first and goal. He's running around like crazy with Lamar Jackson. Comes up with a sack at the end of the day. I'll take that. The defense on the Chiefs is actually pretty good. I mean, they definitely have the ability to get a lot of sacks. Uh, next play, I go back to that cover two once again. And like I said, he has that figured out. So I have to have a, a different plan. I either got to go away from the cover two, or I'm just, he's just going to keep doing that exact same thing and basically streaking and going right over the top of the blitzing corners. So now I'm down two touchdowns fast. I really got to put something on the board here. I can't just keep hemorrhaging points and not scoring on offense. First play, I'm just going to try to take a little drive starter. It doesn't work out on third down luckily we get away from the sack but the throw is just way off so i'm gonna go for it on fourth and seven Dude. that's terrible so now I'm in a pretty bad spot. Down two scores, 14 nothing, almost halftime. He's basically in scoring position already. I mean, he could score from here. Uh, if he kicks a field goal, he's up three possessions. If he scores a touchdown, he's up even worse. So I got to do something here. I basically got to make something happen. My timing on defense is just a little bit off. You can see right there. I was in the right area. I just took the wrong turn based off of a previous play he ran. Uh, I get a little bit of luck my way, though. I don't know if this is BS on my side or his side because I had the safety there just sitting right right under the route and for some reason he decided to bail on at the last second but luckily it wasn't caught anyway then on the next play a little bit more bs as you can see right here it looks like he was in bounds i can't really tell maybe he didn't uh, safe catch maybe he rack caught that and you can see right there he doesn't get the touchdown basically goes right to third and goal he thought it was a touchdown he even calls a timeout like he was looking for the ability to challenge it so very next play Gotcha, bitch. Throws a pick right over the middle. I just sat on that route all the way. Huge takeaway. Keeps it a two-possession game. I'm not in a good spot, though. I'm against my own five. We're going to try to bomb it up, though. We got We want to score fast. And sure enough, I mean, he gets a guy right through the middle. Step into that throw. Drop a dime right outside of the cover two. If it wasn't for that bad accuracy, it might have been a touchdown. Very next play, we're going back to that cover two beater because it looks like he's still in a cover two. And uh, we're going to try to work these outside routes one more time. So sure enough, like I said, I I'm seeing him move around a lot with the linebacker. So I give myself a check down with the running back thinking that he might just abandon it entirely. And that Y route's out there again because we bail for that. Would it might, might have been a touchdown if I could have caught it and ran. But we're moving right down the field one big play after the next. So next play, I take the drag here because I I could see there was a receiver just sitting out there. Maybe I thought he could become a blocker and get me in. On the next play, he's not respecting my run game at all. I guess I'm bombing it up too much. So he gives me a pretty reasonable defense to run on. I try to find an inside zone in the audibles, which isn't there. It just has a sweet play, but the sweet play worked out beautifully. So it went right to the area that he was uh, neglecting. So we're only down a touchdown now. I give him a lot of time, though. I gave him 53 seconds. He has all his timeouts. I know he's going to be trying to score. This is something that a lot of people would typically try to do. So I drop back all my defenders and basically let him throw it right into a crowd no nope. almost get a pick uh because you know i know he's going to be overly aggressive he's shown that he's going to be overly aggressive so very next play second and 10 he's taking off with it as i drop everybody back one more time get him with third and inches we're going to come out in that run defense because i know he's probably going to lean towards that very next play he tries to take off with lamar jackson once again bombing up thinking maybe that it'll just be a punt uh, but sure enough the user was there and knocked the ball down so fourth and inches he's going for it which is not a smart call with 16 seconds left to go i switch over to the fs blitz because the formation is screaming run play And we get the stop. So 12 seconds left. I want to score here. I mean, I could kick a field goal right now, but I'm trying to tie this game up. So I picked the bench because it's a pretty good cover two beater. Uh, but I can tell this isn't a cover two. One cornerback's about eight yards deep. The other cornerback's about five yards deep. You can see they're both offset. So that means that this is a cover six or a cover nine, meaning that on the right side is a cover two, but the left side's not. So I'm going to try to focus my attention there. But you can see once I do motion the, the running back to the line, uh, the linebacker, the user, comes over. He shows his hand. 
So I can't have him over in that area messing the play up. So I basically have to change it up a little bit. So I motion the running back to the other side just to give him a rabbit to chase. And sure enough, he falls for that. He chases that, leaving the tight end open, which is a much smaller window based off of the fact that I couldn't run it how I wanted to. But it still works out, and we score a touchdown. So 14-14, tied up. I don't usually do this, but I kick to the fullback because I'm not trying to get any Madden BS right now. I just want to make sure that I run a little clock off. I don't want to give him too much opportunities. With three seconds left, though, he's going to go for it. He's going to try to make a play. I don't know if he really thought he was going to take it to the house against a prevent defense with a quarterback, but Oops. he puts the ball on the turf with zero seconds left and only one man to beat with nothing but green grass behind him. He could go all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so one stupid decision after another we take a go-ahead score into half and we get ball <laughs> so now up a touchdown i can see once again i mean he's obviously worried about my passing attack so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna switch it up we're gonna run the ball on the very first play of the second half give myself an extra blocker motion over the receiver and we're gone he could go And we take it to the house with a 90-year-old LaShawn McCoy, wheelchair and all. He runs all the way down the field for a touchdown. Very next series, on the second play, what? we get a pretty BS uh, interception there. I mean, I, that, that went my way. But come on, man. you serious with this? I mean, look at this. They both would have caught it. At this point, the momentum swing in this game is out of control, as you can see right there. Basically, all 11 defenders would have caught that ball, I guess. So, starting off the very next series, I'm up two touchdowns. I know that I can salt this game away quite a bit if I score. Uh, sure enough, though, he comes up with a sack, so he's going to make it a little bit more difficult. Third and 13, uh, we're going to come out in the stick play, which is something that I put out a while ago. I'm expecting cover two once again, but this play will work against cover three. And then when I come to the line, I can see that there's obviously a cover three. we got a single high safety, so I'm going to be attacking that cover three seam right there. There's a huge gap. Now, he gives away that he knows where the play is going. As you can see right there, once again, pre-snap motion lets me know that he knows where the ball's going, but... He tries to bait me, and he ends up falling down over his other linebackers. So we get the easiest touchdown ever. The cornerback almost caught up, though. Very next defensive series. Um, I guess I remember this from the very first series of plays he ran, even though it was nope. a different play. Um, but I guess I just, I mean, I sprinted right over. Like, I knew where that ball was going. Uh, very next play, I'm running that man blitz once again, and he's running that uh, crosser once again. So I nope. feel like I'm in uh, the twilight zone. I feel like I'm running a rerun here as he's basically running the exact same plays from the first series. And now... Now he's going to his second trick in the bag, uh, which is running with the quarterback, and uh, he's going to fumble for a touchdown once again. So it's pretty obvious that he didn't have enough tricks in his bag, and eventually when those tricks ran out, it basically just, you know, opened up the floodgates for me to just roll over them uh, with huge scoring plays. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, let me know in the comment section with the like button, and I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.